What is going on, fellow coin collectors? All right, today's video is going to be of all of my graded coins. Now, every coin I'm going to be showing off today has been shown in a previous video. So if you're new to my channel uh, and you want more information on some of these coins, please go back and look at some of my older videos because uh, I want to go through these kind of quickly, but I really uh, would like to make a video showing off all of my graded ancient and medieval coins. So you see I have them in this nice uh, NGC box. So uh, let's get started. Uh, so I'll start with this. Uh, this is a medieval Chinese coin from 1368, which was the start of the Ming Dynasty. And uh, these coins really didn't change that much over the centuries. So this is a very iconic look for these uh, Chinese coins, especially with the, uh, you know, hole through the middle. But this is a kind of coin that if you're new to collecting ancients and medievals, um, very affordable. There's a lot of them out there and they're just cool pieces to add to the collection. So the next one I wanted to show off, uh, this is actually the only mint state coin that I have in my collection. And just like the previous coin I showed off, um, there are a lot of these out there. There were hordes of these found in great condition. Uh, but these are beautiful, affordable coins. You'd say there's a nice uh, hemidrum with the uh, bust on the obverse and the reverse. We have the fire altar. So this is a really cool uh Really cool looking coin to say the least. And it, like I said, it's my only mint state coin. Uh, this next one, this is not ancient, but uh, who wouldn't want a piece of shipwreck treasure in their collection? And that's exactly what this is. Um, this is a shipwreck uh, from the El Cazador. This is a piece of eight. This is uh, eight reals. Beautiful Spanish coin. And uh, yeah, this was on the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. For uh, over 200 years before it was uncovered with uh, a bunch of other coins. So this is just so cool to have a Spanish piece of eight from a shipwreck. Nothing like some shipwreck treasure. All right, this next coin I wanted to show off. This is a biblical coin. This is a uh, what is considered widow's mite. Uh, this was the lowest denomination of coins in Judea at the time, and the way this got uh, to be called biblical widows might is a story from the Bible where Jesus spoke about a widow who all she had in her pocket was two of these coins, and she gave it to the collection, and because she gave everything that she had, she gave more than everyone else. So it is definitely cool to have this piece of biblical widows might in my collection. And while we're on the topic of religion, this is a coin from the Byzantine Empire. Uh, these anonymous issue coins um, usually had a portrait of Christ on the obverse. So you see we have the portrait of Christ here. And then on the reverse, we have the Virgin Mary. So this is a uh, cool bronze coin from the Byzantine Empire. All right, this next coin is very special because this was actually the first ancient coin that I ever bought. And this is from Sicily, and we have the uh, head of Apollo. And on the reverse, we have the warrior. And I remember when I first got this coin, just, just being so amazed at how old this coin was. You see this from around 210 B.C., just thinking about having a coin that was over 2,000 years old in my possession is what really got me hooked into collecting ancient. So this coin, like I said, is very special to me because it was the first ancient coin I ever picked up. All right, this next coin, anybody who remembers the movie Gladiator will remember Marcus Aurelius. Um, and that is who this coin is depicting right here. A lot of people might not have known that he really was a real ruler. So uh, even though this coin's only graded a VG, this is still a very stunning portrait. And uh, this is actually a very large bronze coin. You can see this is uh, over 23 grams. So this is definitely a cool coin, especially with its association with um, the movie Gladiator. So that's a nice coin of Marcus Aurelius. And while we're on the topic of large bronze coins, <laughs> this is the largest one I have. This is actually the first Egyptian coin I ever got. This is from the uh, Ptolemaic Kingdom um, in Alexandria. So this is a large, this is around 50 grams, large bronze coin with the uh, face of Zeus on the uh, 
you know, on the obverse, and then we have the eagle on the reverse. But it, just to show you how thick this coin is, I'll put it next to uh, the Marcus Aurelius coin. <laughs> Look at that. It's like twice the thickness. This is a very uh, large coin. And it's always cool getting coins. We, you know, we want rulers and we want gods that we know to this day. And everybody knows the name Zeus. So this was a really cool coin to pick up. And the next one that I wanted to show off is of uh, Constantine the Great. This coin's in beautiful shape. You can see it's graded choice, extra fine. Very stunning portrait. And on the reverse, we have Glory to the Legion. So this was a really cool coin to pick up um, of Constantine the Great. And while we're talking about Constantine the Great, so this coin is actually a commemorative coin commemorating the millennial anniversary of the city of Rome. And you can see on the uh, obverse, we have Roma. And on the reverse, we have the she-wolf nursing Romulus and Remus. And Romulus is who Rome was named after. Um, I made a whole video about this coin uh, describing the history. So if you haven't seen it, please check that out. But this is in beautiful shape as well. Look at this graded, uh, almost uncirculated. Very crisp, very clean. I love this coin. So that is definitely, uh, that is definitely a great piece. Next, we have a coin of Augustus. Everyone knows Augustus, also known as uh, Octavian. But uh, this was cool. This is actually from Syria. And it is a uh, nice large bronze coin with the SC on the reverse of uh, the great Emperor Augustus. Okay, next one. This is one of my favorite coins. I just recently actually made a video on this coin. This is a coin from the island of Rhodes uh, depicting Helios, the sun god, who was the uh, Colossus of Rhodes, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. And this is probably the, my most favorite portrait of any of the coins I have. I mean, look at that portrait. That is just amazing. You know, in the reverse, we have the uh, rose in bloom. But this is just a beautiful silver coin uh, depicting Helios, the sun god. Very, very, I mean, look at the way that, that shoots out. It's just beautiful. I tell you what, these coins, these ancient coins are gorgeous. I love these. <clears throat> uh, this next one, this is of uh, Philip II, who was the father of Alexander the Great. Not only was he the father of Alexander the Great, he was really the teacher of Alexander the Great. All of Alexander the Great's military skills and strategies he learned from his father. And um, this, you know, so this was a coin I just, I had to have. How could you not have a Philip II if you collect ancient coins? And you see we have the uh, horse rider on the reverse. So that is a very nice coin of uh, uh, Philip II from the kingdom of uh, Macedonia. And of course, we got to fill up, uh, follow up Philip II with Alexander the Great. This is so cool to have a lifetime issue coin of Alexander the Great. You can see this is also from uh, Macedonia. Now, this is probably the most common Alexander the Great coin you can find. But because of that, I only spent 75 bucks on this coin, which it, it baffled me when I first got it. Like, wow. I mean, Alexander the Great is one of those names that people still talk about today. And the fact that you can get a coin that was struck while he was conquering the known world at the time um, truly amazes me. It's one of my favorite coins that I own. And just the fact that it has his name on the reverse and the weapons of Hercules, which is the bow and the club, just a beautiful uh, portrait of Alexander the Great with the Herculean headdress. So this next one is actually my oldest coin. Uh, these ancient coins from Lydia. Lydia was one of the first to really start producing coins. And this is a very iconic image of the lion confronting the bull. And you can see this is uh, struck between 561 and 546 BC. This coin is over 2,500 years old. That is amazing. On the reverse, we have the ink use punch, which was fairly common on uh, these coins from back then. 
but uh, just owning a coin that is this old uh, is truly is truly amazing, and uh, it's definitely one of the favorites I have. <clears throat> now this coin was actually my first and actually only uh, ancient gold coin. Now this coin is not a hundred percent gold. This is actually gold mixed with silver. But it is still the only gold coin I have in my collection. And uh, this is just a beautiful example, too. You know, we have uh, Octian portrait on the uh, obverse. And on the reverse, we have the Gorgon, which is really cool. You know, Medusa was a Gorgon. And the reason they would put these on coins is, you know, the same reason that soldiers would put them on their armor, on their shield in battle, is, you know, the old story from Medusa. So it's cool to see you know, a coin with uh, a Gorgonian on it. And uh, this is just a beautiful gold coin. And this coin is another Egyptian coin from Alexandria. You could see the uh, Ptolemaic Kingdom. And most people uh, probably don't know that Cleopatra the Seventh is the Cleopatra that we all know today. And just the fact that this beautiful tetradrum was struck under the rulership of Cleopatra in Egypt, it is really, really amazing. You know, like I said with Alexander the Great, she's another name that everybody knows today. And this is of her ancestor, uh, Ptolemy I. So this is a beautiful, like I said, beautiful tetradrum struck under Cleopatra. Okay, and last but certainly not least is the gem of my collection. You can see I have it in this nice little black case. And this is my Julius Caesar coin. You know, ever since I started collecting ancient coins, I wanted a Julius Caesar coin, a lifetime issue with his name on it. And these are not cheap, and but I got this for a great price. Very happy to own it. This is a beautiful denarius uh, with the classic image of the elephant trampling the horned serpent with the name Caesar underneath. Just so cool. I mean, another name that everybody knows about today. And um, I actually recently made a video about this coin as well. But this is definitely the gem of my collection. It's the most expensive coin I have in my collection. But it's just so cool to own a lifetime issue coin of Julius Caesar with the name Caesar on the bottom. It's just incredible. So, okay, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. And I uh, will see you all next time.